Hi, my name is Stacy Olson, and the organism that I am presenting to you are mallard ducks. These guys were found and studied at Norridge Park in Cedar Rapids, Iowa. The behavior we're looking at here is grooming. Grooming involves many different actions all used to clean the body. We can see these individuals using their bills to pick and preen their feathers all over their body, even under their wings. They also use the side of their heads and necks to rub against their feathers to wipe them down, and you can see them shake their entire bodies, much like a dog when they get wet. There are many reasons why these animals partake in this behavior, and here I present you with four hypotheses that I believe help to explain it. My first hypothesis falls under the causation level of analysis, and that is that there is an environmental stimulus that causes mallard ducks to partake in grooming behavior. That stimulus would be some type of bodily sensation that alerts the individual that there is something on them, particularly a parasite, that needs to be removed. Peter Cotgreave and Dale Clayton in 1994 performed a comparative analysis between the time spent grooming by birds and their parasite load. It was predicted that the heavier load of parasites that an individual had, the longer they would spend grooming, and their results supported this. Other factors such as bill and leg length were examined as well, but the main point here is that the presence of a parasite load was what alerted the individual to the need to groom. My second hypothesis falls under the developmental level of analysis. I propose that ducks are born with an innate sense that grooming is a necessary behavior. Hadass Helena et al. in 2008 performed a study comparing programmed versus stimulus-driven antiparasitic grooming in desert rodents and found that young rodents spend significant amounts of time grooming themselves, even before a parasitic infestation occurs. This suggests that there is some other reason, besides just stimulus from the parasites, that they feel the need to perform this behavior. My next hypothesis falls under the evolutionary level of analysis. I propose that grooming evolved because those individuals that were able to remove or prevent disease by cleaning themselves of parasites were more fit and thus survived to reproduce more often. Michael Moring et al. in 2002 performed a study on the evolution of parasite defense grooming in ungulates. Through their experiment, they found that when done properly, the benefits of grooming and removing of parasites outweigh the time and energy costs that it requires. As we have been talking about constantly throughout this class, if the benefits outweigh the costs, then the behavior should evolve, and that is what we see here. My final hypothesis falls under the function level of analysis. Closely related to my other hypotheses, I propose that these individuals partake in this behavior of grooming because it increases their fitness level by removing harmful parasites and lowering their risk of disease. Hadass Helena et al. in 2006 performed a study on the benefits of grooming in rodents and found that the longer amount of time that was spent grooming, the more the parasitic load of an individual was decreased. Intuitively, one can make the jump then that if grooming decreases their parasitic load and parasites are what cause disease, that grooming increases fitness by lowering the individual's chances for disease. Overall, grooming has proven to be a very beneficial and productive behavior to partake in, and I hope we can all understand now why so much time is spent by these individuals preening.